Good morning, my reader friends. The other day, I was helping my mom bring a few heavy packages to her workplace, and as a thank you, she took me to the bookstore, bought me a few books, and then she took me out to lunch. Thank you so much, Mom. You are the best, and these books will be fantastic. Anyway, don't you think it's time I chat about these books a little bit? The first book that my mom got me is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This is a fiction, fantasy, romance novel, and it is such a good book. I am already reading it. I love this tenfold. The circus arrives without warning, and no announcements precede it. It is just simply there when yesterday it was not. Within the tents is a unique experience of amazement called Le Cirque de Rive, which is only open at night. Why is that? Anyway, behind the scenes, a fierce competition is underway with a duel between two young magicians, Celia and Marco, who have been training since childhood for this very night. Unknown to the two of them, this is a game where only one can be left standing, and the circus is the stage for a remarkable battle of imagination and will. So Celia and Marco tumble headfirst into love, a deep love of magic that makes the lights flicker and turn the room warm whenever they brush hands. True love or not, this is a game that must be played, so who will win? I know virtually nothing about this book, but it's advertised all over my social media, so I'm taking it as a sign that I have to read this book, and I am very happy that I am. Also, this isn't exactly about the book itself, but I'm starting an Erin collection of books, so every book that I have whose author is named Erin or who has a character in the book named Erin, it goes on the Erin bookshelf. And on that bookshelf so far, I have The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. The author is named Erin. I have The Vegas Vampire Series by Erin McCarthy. The author is named Erin. And To Catch a Killer by Cheryl Scarborough. That book also has a character named Erin. And this book is my favorite on the Erin Collection bookshelf. The next book that my mom got me at the bookstore is This Is Not A Ghost Story by Andrea Ports. This is a young adult fiction horror novel and I am definitely going to read this right after The Night Circus. I can't wait to get around to it because I have been looking for a really good ghost story like this book even though this is not a ghost story. I am not welcome. Somehow I know that. Something doesn't want me here, but what could it be? Daffodil Franklin plans a quiet summer before her freshman year at college, and she's found a house-sitting job at a mansion for a wealthy couple. What could go wrong? As Daffodil's summer progresses, she soon realizes that the house is more than it first appears, and things turn very odd. The spacious house seems to close in on Daffodil. The long road into town takes longer and longer to walk down. And also, Daffodil feels something tugging at her back. So, what could it be? What Daffodil doesn't realize is that this job comes with a steep price, but what could that be as well? The house has a grudge that needs to settle, and Daffodil is the key in all of this. Again, I know nothing about this book, but that doesn't mean I don't want to find out, which I do, because this book has been on my radar for a few weeks now, so I'm so happy that my mom got this for me. The third book that my mom got me at Barnes & Noble is Some Kind of Animal by Maria Romasco Moore. This is a young adult fiction contemporary mystery thriller novel, and I am already very intrigued with this, even though I have not started reading it just yet. The book is about this girl named Jo who lives in the same Appalachian town where her mom disappeared 15 years ago. Everyone knows what happened to Jo's mom, 
but now people are starting to talk about Joe, too. Joe's mom was wild, and bad things happened to girls like that. So now Joe is following in her mom's footsteps. She is barely passing any of her high school classes, she falls asleep at her desk every day, and she has secrets, too. What are they? What no one knows is that Joe has a twin sister. Joe's sister isn't like most people. She lives in the woods and she catches rabbits with her bare hands and eats them raw. So is her sister a wild child? Literally? Night after night, Joe sneaks out of her house to meet up with her sister and they run together quite fearlessly. However, no one has ever seen Joe's sister. So when Joe's twin sister attacks a boy from town, everyone assumes that it was Joe. Joe now has to decide does she tell the world about her sister, or does she run? What happens again? On another note, it's said that this book is like Wilder Girls and Sadie, so I think I'll be reading this. And when it comes to realistic fiction novels, I like reading books with settings of real places that I have been. So since this book takes place on the Appalachian Trail, and since I hike there all the time, I'd wanted to read this book since it was released. And lastly, but certainly not the least, the final book that my mom got me is Cemetery Girl by David Bell. This is a fiction, mystery, thriller, and it is contemporary, so it does take place during modern era, so I am very intrigued with this. Our story starts out with two characters, Tom and Abby Stewart. They have everything. They have the perfect marriage, they have successful careers, and they have a beautiful 12-year-old daughter named Caitlin. Then, one day, everything changes because Caitlin disappeared without a trace, so where did she go? Tom and Abby grasped at every single false hope, and the tragedy changed their lives forever. They have overwhelming guilt that destroys them, their marriage is shattered, and Caitlin is still missing. However, four years later, Caitlin is found alive. Caitlin returns to her parents, but she will not discuss where she was or what had happened to her. So when police arrest a suspect connected to her disappearance, Caitlin refuses to testify. Why? What happened between them? Taking matters into his own hands, Tom tries to uncover the truth, and he finds that nothing that's happened can prepare him for what he is about to discover. So again, what could it be? Once again, I know nothing about this book, but that doesn't mean that I won't devour this book within a matter of days. Something about this book just called to me, so I felt that I had to buy it. Then again, I feel that way about most books, so... That's amusing in its own way. Also, if we're talking about regular fiction books and not young adult books, then I absolutely love fictional mysteries and thrillers, so this is a definite must-read soon novel. So like this video now if you have read this book, which I think is totally worth the read, don't you? Anyway, that is all for today, so if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button to show some support, subscribe to my booktube channel to get more videos like this, Turn those notifications on to be notified when I have a brand new video uploaded. Keep on reading and have a great day, everyone.